Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 2 of the KC pay-per-view payback. It is, of course, the WKC Championship match. The WKC Champion, the Big Dog, is on the left. The Challenger, the Baron, is on the right. And we are now playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duels. The Big Dog won the One Piece. So if he wins this, or if he wins Vanguard, he will retain his WKC Championship. But if the Baron wins both Speed Duels and Vanguard, then we will have a brand new WKC champion. And as per the rules, the champion's advantage goes to the big dog and the big dog gets to choose whether he wants to go first or second. That's a good question. And of course, mm. Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duels is going to be best of three. Vanguard and One Piece are both best of one. Because both games take absolute ages. <laughs> well, that, that first game didn't take that long, actually. It was 22 minutes. <laughs> it's not, not, not as terribly wrong. Well, yeah. We've had significantly longer One Piece it matches. It depends, we had shot. it depends on the deck yes. that <laughs> facing against. <laughs> on the plus side, you only have to choose whether you want to go first or second in the first match because each match after will be decided by the player who lost. Now if I lose again, then it's just like, hmm. <laughs> Alright, well. First. Okay, Big Dog has chosen to go first. That means the Baron shall be going second. Then the Baron shall be the first one who is able to declare an attack. Fog warning active. Fog warning has been active, showing that the big dog is playing Cloudiness. Presumably. We almost summon Cloudian and Atlas. Well, it certainly looks like he's playing Cloudians. In fact, it will gain one fog count for each face of Cloudian monster on the field, and then it will gain plus one because of fog warning. Activate Cloudian Squall. And activate Cloudian Squall. Pass. Okay, two. Uh, Two set Claudian Squalls, one Claudian Atlas, and one Fog Warning. <laughs> During my standby phase, I will place one Fog Cow oh, each face up monster on the field. And can't be about that one, yes. Yep, can't be uh, can still deal in damage. You can still deal in damage, I perfect. still take the damage. Yeah, and of course, if Claudian monsters are switched to defend position, they blow up. Some brick of a magical floor, yeah. Yep. I can't remember okay. that's a token. Bigger your life points. Yes. Real quick. And everyone's happy. There we are. Life points in the centre. Ah, uh, that's fine. Just place wherever you want. <laughs> and we shall set one and pass. Not attacking. No. Interesting. Right. Show off the tongue. Stand by face. Stand by. One some of a quad. Yep. Change the defense and destroy it. And Claudian Squall does still put the uh, Claudian tokens on Breaker. This will gain four Claudian tokens. He gains one from each Claudian Squall, but also an additional one from Fog Warning. Now we'll summon Acid Cloud, we gain two. And I will pass. Baron's turn. Yes, we move to the Shoy Spell Trap. This Shoy Spell Trap's okay. Hey, remember, Cloud Tokens can be, or Cloudian Tokens can be removed from any ground field, including the opponent's monsters. Might be their effects. Acid Cloud only can remove himself. Atlas is the only one that can remove from either field. Ah, I see. Okay, about for his 19 into uh, five. 5. So take 14. <laughs> Great. Made us 14. Um, Show off the tongue. Stand by. Claudian Squalls. So you get another 4. And I gain 4 as well. 4 of. Oh, yeah, Claudian tokens on the field. Or fog tokens, or whatever they're called. Set. Oh, 
tribute from Nimbusman. Oh no, not Nimbusman. It's yep. huge. <laughs> he gained 500 when he. Uh, I can tribute some of them using a number of what our monsters I control. And then he will gain one frog count for each one tributed. So he gains two. Yep. And he gains 500 attack for each face, for each frog count on the field. Oh, God. So he's gaining 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So he's now. 5,000. 6,000? 6,000 power. <laughs> you got a spear Karibo in hand? I'm going to spear Karibo, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of changing just before, but I was like, eh. There you go. Bro. I'm in Breaker the Magical Warrior. Okay. And another one. Remove token from this Breaker, destroy this. It's the wall of destruction now. Oh, attack forward. 19, attack 16. That? <laughs> that is game one. Uh, Big Dog is now in the unenviable position. He has to choose whether he wants to go first or second once again. I do that. In the middle of the round. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure anyone's ever asked that in the middle of a WKC championship match. Oh, hell yeah, sure. it was. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> I know I should have chose something different, but hey, we're here now. See what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Big, Dog, I'll lose. <laughs> Big Dog has chosen to a second. If he does lose, it's all right. He still has a Vanguard to fall back on. There you go. Summon Breaker. Set one. Pass. Baron's Breaker, the Magical Warrior deck going up against Claudians. <laughs> Breaker beat. <laughs> That's basically what's happening. Normal summon uh, Kuro Stratos. We'll gain two. Okay. Move to the Strong Breaker. Aerosol, this card, and we'll gain counters equal to its level. So we'll gain four and then plus one from frog one. Set right. two. Battle face. Okay. Attack for 900. There you go. End phase. It's over. It's over. The one of. Yeah. I'm okay. Me and you go. Frog one. Attack mode. Set the one. It's over. Attack. 15? 18. 18. 18. Sure. Big Dog reluctant to take that damage. On to me? Yes. Drop a ton. Samba. Bane. Okay. Yeah, fine. I'm not going to exit that to Winston. <laughs> you know where I'm going to be. I mean, you could. I'll use it with someone drop. Banish it and uh, a Claudian. Such. Great. I have to think. Mm. Big boy. Massive. Facts change possessions. Well, Big Dog is still facing down a Zoman Spirit, which is going to be a problem. Right, that thing remains on the field. Normal summon Atlas. It'll gain one fog count for each uh, face of Claudian, then plus one, so it gets free. Mm -hmm. And I will move free to discard a band of cards in your hand. There you go. Which was a polarization. I'll die if I attack. <laughs> I'm dead anyway, no matter what. <laughs> you can just attack, so pass. So, mm -hmm. battle phase. I'm going to attack. I have the Typhoon. I'll activate wall disruption and wall disruption. 
Oh, so, it's not there, but <laughs> so it it falls down to two hundred attacks. So I take so. two thousand eight hundred. Huzzah! Two thousand eight hundred, and it's almost destroyed. And someone like damage to you from the monster destroyed it. So big dog is going to take three thousand. Yes. Yep. Yeah. yeah. There we go. I know I shouldn't have used this, but I was like, ah, my face stains were way spread running when some of them come out. <laughs> so. That was game two of the WKC Championship match. But the third game, we now know what it is most certainly going to be. It is going to be Card Fight Vanguard. It is, of course, Overdress. And the big dog, as WKC champion, does have the champion's advantage. He will get to choose whether he wants to go first or second in this final match. So that is going to be it for this video, folks. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.